Hi, good afternoon. Matthew Lippert with Kimmel Midwest back again. <clears throat> I have a piece of metal in front of me. If you watch my demo on Paint KO, our aerosol paint stripper, this will look amazingly familiar. Because this is a piece of metal I had painted with our Kimball Midwest Ultra Pro, Pro Max gloss black paint a year ago. I used our KO paint stripper to strip it clean. Now I'm going to use it to demonstrate some other paints. First of all, I have Kimball Midwest stainless steel paint. This isn't just the color of stainless steel. The pigment in this paint is genuine 316 stainless steel. Then, for you in the agriculture business who happen to like red, I have Harvester Red. This is the uh, international red. Uh, I, I, or I ordered some John Deere green, but it got back ordered. I wanted to be able to uh, put the international red and the John Deere green because I also have Ford blue and I have Chevrolet orange. This happens to be uh, engine paint or engine color uh, designed for the engines. Uh, you can use it on anything else too, but uh, it's designed to take the heat. So on this piece of metal, I'm going to reset my camera. On this piece of metal, I'm just going to do uh, uh, different sections with these different colors of paint. Uh, they'll they'll uh, may overlap a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put some tape on here so I can separate the four colors so there's some kind of a separation. You know, and, and uh, it's not going to be perfect because the tape's not going to go all the way down in here. But it'll separate it and you'll be able to see the four different colors on one piece. I'm going to reset and I'll be right back. Okay, I've shaken, I've shaken these all up before because, like I said before, because of the high solids of the Kimball Midwest uh, aerosol paint, uh, you do have to shake it good because uh, sometimes it takes a while just to get the ball moving. So I'm going to start right here with this stainless steel paint. Didn't take much. Now I'm going to go with the international red in the next section. You should see how easily that covers. I mean, it's just one coat. Now I'm going to go with the Chevrolet orange. Now I'm going to go with the Ford blue. And then, like, like I said before, I will turn these upside down on each one of them. Get the tip cleaned off so I don't come back later and have the tip clogged up. The way my luck works, if I don't do that, when I go to do a demo in front of a customer, the tip is clogged. So I do that, get everything cleared out. So there are, that's the Chevrolet Orange, the Ford Blue, the stainless steel with genuine 316 stainless steel. There's the International Red. We have industrial colors for almost every industrial equipment for JLG, for Bill Jack, for Cummins. Um, we, have, we, we have a whole range of colors. Contact me. I can get a, a list of the colors to you. All of the paints that Kimball Midwest has are the same high quality as what you're just seeing right here. And uh, I'm going to, at the risk of getting a little bit of paint on myself, I'm going to bring this over here. So that we can see it in the camera better. There's the Ford Blue, Chevrolet Orange, International Red, and there is the stainless steel. See how nice and shiny they are. There you go. So I hope you like that product. As with all of our Kimball Midwest products, it's some of the best products on the market. Again, like I've, like I've always said in, in many of my other videos, 80% of Kimball Midwest inventory dollars goes for American-made products. Buy American, buy quality. You know you're getting a quality product when you buy Kimball Midwest. Do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. You'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Hit that bell. so That way you, you are sure to get notified. If you, if you see something in this video, you know somebody that could use, you know that somebody that could benefit, feel free to share this video. My contact information is on the bottom. Feel free to contact me with any questions, 
with any comments. You can keep the snide remarks to yourself. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but no, feel free to contact me. Uh, give me any questions, whatever. I'll, I'll If I don't know the answer to the question, I'm not going to make something up. I'll tell you I don't know. I'll tell you, give me, give me a little bit of time to find the answer. And I want to find the answer that you need to solve the problem that you're trying to solve. Until next time, have a great day.